Hey everyone, this is Potato with the Mean Streak, and today we're doing a little baby forfer. I think that's correct. Am I correct? I think I'm correct. Forfer, there might be five mods, don't really know, don't really care. But Raul was us. <clears throat> Raul is with us. There we go. And um, he is wearing, what is he wearing? He's wearing the Rogue Ranger armor. This was suggested by Chase and Bryce. And Donazal99. That's right, Donazal99. My god. What a beautiful thing. So, um, there are two variations of this. The other variation is an older version, I realized later. Um, by that, I mean, there's two versions of this you can download, and then one of them's older, and it looks different. But this one's newer. It's a new one. You get, um, a choice of a clean hat and a dirty hat. Hat, I mean helmet. And this is the dirty one. Doesn't seem that dirty, but it's got some white stuff on it. It's supposed to be a skull. And he's got this sweet little cod. Stop moving, Raul. Oh, stop moving. He's got a sweet little card right there. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, JT. We all love and respect you. And next armor we're going to be looking at is... What is it? What is it, everyone? Oh, you know what it is. This is the Stealth Suit Rearmor Texture something. This was suggested by Sky Savior, and Jerry is wearing this hot little baby. That's right, Jerry is all revved up and ready to blow. Um, so there's, there's a retexture... And then there's a remodel. So what I've done is I downloaded the retexture and the remodel. So the stealth suit is changed. And I think we have actually looked at this before, but um, I don't know. It was kind of awkward the way it was in the mod. If you look at it, it's kind of like, it, it's just fucking weird. Um, also, we have New Vegas Nevada Skies on. This was suggested by Kijo98, Steven Gaming, Minty Hippo30, Single Cell55, Spartan Elite56, Virginia Studios, Minty Hippo30 again, Lance Hedgehog, and Walking Dead with all numbers and shit. Whew. So, what does Nevada Skies do? I'm not sure if I've ever gone over Nevada Skies. I use it for my movies sometimes, or the montages, whatever the hell you want to call them. Basically, you, can, you get weather and you get different lighting situations and all this poop. And you can go through all these, you can get cool stuff. Um, there's actually a newer version of Nevada Skies, this is what I'm running now, that um, has different things. You can display conditions, which is kind of weird and gross. And can I get rid of that? Has Nevada Skies mod makers? Oh, okay, I guess it just goes down. It used to just stay up there and you could never get it down. But, uh... You got all this shit. You got special moods, which are basically, um, like it changes. It makes it, you can guess what these are. I'm not going to go through them all because I don't really want to go over this mod right now. But, like, this is a mood where it just changes everything. Ooh, look how moody it is. Ooh, look at this. And then you would just go TM, and then you'd record your little movie, and you'd be like, my god, in a world where no one gets out of the clouds this summer cloud world cloud world cloud world cloud world it's very dark cloud world and then you would turn it back on so uh, i'm gonna turn cloud world off because uh i'm not gonna be able to see anything well i'll be able to see stuff but you guys won't be able to see stuff because you're blind wimp uh wimp uh wimp wimp Yay, now it's extremely sunny. Good lord. Um, also, we're going to be going over this other sweet armor. Um, this is the T49X Colossus something, Bajingos, Galangos. This was suggested by literally everyone, so I'm just going to have a big run through of all, all the names just about, maybe now. Look at all those names. You guys see those names? If you didn't see those names, I've completely forgot about it. And forgot to put it in. I apologize. Oh, yeah, Ganon's with us. Hey, Ganon. How are you? You good? Cool. So there are three variants of this. One, two, three. You can see me, Ganon, and Willow are over there. Willow's picking up dog shit because she won't fucking come over here. Dumb bitch. So, uh, yeah. Uh, armor, they all have different types. I'm wearing Tesla armor. The Tesla armor. 
variation of it, which means I get cylinder dicks coming out of my arms and shoulders and everywhere to make it look even more disgusting. Um, I like the regular one. The regular one looks the best, I feel, that Ganon's wearing. Um, I think... I'm not sure... The difference between Ganon's and Willow's is very slight. There's a few differences you can see there. Maybe not. Maybe you can't even see them. Uh, if we look at the stats, energy weapons plus 10, rad res resistance... Um, plus 20, um, and the helmet is charisma minus 1, rad res plus 5. And I'm not sure, but after I put this mod on, uh, every enemy is no longer hostile. I don't know if it's just this mod, but I had the ranger thing on before. I had the, uh, outcast ranger on. Enemies were still enemies. I had the stealth suit on last time. We were doing lonesome rolled. Enemies were still enemies. I turned on Colossus armor. And, uh, no one wants to fight me. No one wants to fight us. So, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. So, we're going to go to a hotel. That's right. We're going to be, um, you'd think we'd be fighting enemies. But, uh, apparently we can't. So, we're going to check out our last mod, which is a house mod. So, let's go take a look at that now. Uh, also, before we get on, uh, get on ahead, um, I just want to mention that these armors, the T-49 and even the stealth armor, they are considerably detailed. And uh, I'm dropping frames right now, recording, and even when I'm not recording, it the game kind of goes slower. So these these textures, there, I think for the T49, whatever the hell it's called, yeah, T49X Colossus, there are a lower uh, de texture detail option for better performance because these are very detailed, um, very well done. And I didn't mention before, but I really do like these little things. Ooh, 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 when I do that, it goes away. I don't know what that is. Ooh, ooh. But, uh, yeah, so, awesome armor. Really like it. Although, I don't know why it's disappearing when I get up there. Is that in vats? Hey, hey, your nose thing is in vats. You should get it out of there, Ganon. So, we are going to be checking out a blowtail. That's right, a big, fat blowtail. What are you talking about? Well, let me show you. This mod is... I don't actually remember what the hell the name of the mod is, because I didn't write it down, because I'm a douchebag. But this was suggested by Weird Cute X Frosted Flake and PPC Dude 101. That's right, PPC Dude 101. My god, he had to pee a lot. So, um, basically, this is a giant hotel. Um, and the first thing you're going to notice when you get there Mojave Grand Hotel. There you go. First thing you're going to notice is pretty obvious when we get there. It's very obvious. One of the main things I don't like about it. Because I've already... I haven't even showed you guys. and I'm knocking it. Oh, we're going to have fun. So much fun. So much fun. Waiting. Crashing. Alright, and we are here at the Mojave Grand Hotel. That's correct. The brightest place on fucking earth now the first time i i tried this out i thought it was this bright because i needed to have um i don't know some sort of you know like um like nevada skies so it would off balance because a lot of mods do do that but i have nevada skies on and this is still unbelievably bright and my game is just fucking hates it. My game just said, fuck this. I'm, I'm crashing again. And once again, we are reloading our game. And hopefully it won't crash into a wall this time. And here we are, back at the gigantic fuckhole of a light show. So, good lord. Hey. Um, yeah, so, um, this is a pretty cool mod. I've looked at it. I haven't looked at it extensively. But I have gone through a little bit of it. So, there's a lot of people in ugly ass suits just chilling out i don't know if they're power rangers or some shit but uh you can get like you can order shit and you're like yeah give me some grilled mantis and uh like two pieces of corn and a coke and you can sell shit to them and it's it's all good and fun so i, I don't know why they're dressed like fucking power rangers though but we can get in the pool and sit in here me and rex are gonna go in a pool yeah, you're swimming, you're swimming, look at you. You're so goofy. You're so goofy. Oh, here you, everyone's here. We're all swimming here. Everyone get in. Everyone get in before the game crashes. Oh, God, don't look at the front of the building. 
So, yeah, obviously, I am not allowed to look at the front of the building. How are you, sir? Sir, I'd like to ask you, how do you ma manage to get inside of the building without your game crashing? The NCR is fortunate to have your support. Uh, I guess, I, I guess they are. Doesn't answer my question. So, um, you might just be saying, well, it's probably pretty bad because it's during the day, dumbass. So, let's, let's go a little bit forward into the world. Da, 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 da. Nighttime. Oh, and the game crashed because. Wouldn't it be nice if my game didn't crash? Then I wouldn't have to break my game. All right. So, uh, as you can see, this is another aspect of Nevada Skies. Everything is dark as shit except for Noose Vegas because Noose Vegas is Noose. Um, but. I have this on to show you something. Uh, we want to go to the Mojave Grand Hotel. Because what I was saying before was, hey, um, there's a legion of people over there. Oh god, I don't have any weapons set up. Ooh, you're getting shot at by the people dressed as the Enclave. That's right, a bobby da boobity. There's also another reason I don't record with Nevada Skies on, because I know a lot of you are blind, or, you, I don't know, you listen to my videos as if it's radio or something. But, uh, yeah, a lot of you guys say you can't see anything when I do videos with Nevada Skies and poop, 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 poop. But, we, oh, there it is. So, as you can see, you know, it's not bad right now. It's dark. But, I don't know what the fuck is up with those lights. Are they coming on now? What time is it? It's 8.59. Turn your damn lights on. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> uh, ah, uh, fuck this. I'm gonna play Alpha Protocol. I'm gonna be a secret agent take a dump in your mouth. I'm gonna talk to some bitch be like, what up? You boys like bananas? <laughs> Fucking bananas. Alright, time to shit on the floor. Sneaky little raccoon, sneaky little raccoon. Son of a bitch. I am not a sneaky little raccoon. Oh man. Oh, don't worry about it. Picking locks every day, every day I'm picking locks. Say what? What's this? Books. Everything's invisible but my beard. All right, so it's a day later. Um, I'm less angry because it's a day later. And I'm just gonna run towards the damn motel. Uh, I don't know if it's because the armors I have on, if my computer just can't handle it. It's just like, oh, screw you. So I'm just gonna run, run. All right, good. Hopefully it doesn't crash. So, uh, really? Really? <gasps> you know what? Don't have a solution for this. So I did turn off the Colossus T49X armor, um, always good to have a very, very well wanted mod to be showcased for at least two minutes and then just chucked out of oblivion due to the fact that Willow is not wearing any pants. Uh, yeah, Willow, you should probably put some pants on, just saying. Do you need oh, and yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, Okay. No, did, I won't trade with you. Did you not realize when you came out <laughs> gotcha. this morning? And I had no clothes either. Well then, we are all naked. Oh, wait, no. Wait, she's got clothes back on. Thank God. She just realized she was naked. Well, I'm sorry, Rex, but this is the way things are going to be going. So, we are all here, except for Jerry. Oh, no, there he is. Um, all right, that's Raul. So, all right, so, yeah. This is the main lobby. Pretty nice, actually. Good stuff. We got some beautiful horse pictures. Always a big fan of the horses. Um, the wall textures are okay. They're kind. Of, they kind of get awkward though in the darkness. If you see, if we go over here, it just kind of looks like there's not a wall. Hello. Hey. Oh. Hello. Oh. And uh, you you know what I mean? Because there's no. Hello. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up. Because there's no variation in... There's no gradient. It just looks like there's nothing there. 
So, Arcade Ganon, how are you today with no clothing on? Good? Me too. Great. So, basically this place has a whole bunch of different rooms and a lot of really weird-ass named people. For instance, this guy's called Ashley. Uh, alright. Sure, I'll go for it. And Ashley does a lot of stuff like say goodbye and he just sits there. Very, very interactive. So, we can go over here. Let's, let's go through all these rooms. Um, yeah. So, 16th room floor. Actually, we should have checked out my room first. So this is basically just going to be a hey look at this house mod, mod show case. Um, so this is the 16th floor, possibly the lowest floor. So these are all the, uh, these are all the factory laborers. Their children live here and sometimes they're killed by large pieces of machinery. Let's go inside one of their doors right now, and we can see here that this couple has just had a fight, um, and they are now going to have a threesome. So, pretty classy stuff. You can sleep in these beds, too. Evening. You can also hear people moaning. Wow. So this is a very, very, uh upkept hotel house mod so everything in here you're gonna find is very pristine and let me tell you by god by the time we get upstairs to my room is the most pristine oh oh someone's sleeping someone's sleeping Some rex rex she's sleeping rex <laughs> all right um these aren't these stand out like a sore thumb good lord they couldn't have gotten a retexture for these really there wasn't a retexture for, and this is ridiculously red still. Even even with Nevada skies on, you can only imagine what this would be like if this teddy bear was not oddly stuck in here. Oh god, oh jeez. <laughs> and I guess he has the ambience of people making brutal love to each other. This is just scary now. Don't worry, teddy bear, I'll free you. And I guess you could just live in these rooms, but what, the thing I've noticed is um, a lot of people, like the random people who walk around here, they kind of just come in the room and just kind of start sleeping. So if you have like, if you start like uh, customizing it, like, you know, like, oh, this is my armor, this is my guns, people are just gonna, like, Hobie Makobo is gonna come in here and just start shambling all over. And let, let me just check something real quick. I, I'm pretty sure you can't kill these people. Completely wrong. Very wrong. So let's take Hobie Makobo and let's, um, let's, um, Rex get the door. Make sure no one gets in here. Okay, Ganon did not need to, Willow did not see, okay, yeah, everyone, everyone help me b bury the body. Really gonna help. So we can see here he tripped after drinking a whole bunch of absinthe. Uh, always a problem. Always a problem uh, with that absinthe. I'm like, what was what was he doing with all this stuff? Look at that, drunk, drunk, and he tripped, and he fell, and he broke his spine just like Doc Mitchell. And Gannon, what's up? We got clothes for you. you... Sure, just don't treat me like a pack brahmin. Don't okay. worry about it, man. Just 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 take the take the suit, or you could just sure. Just don't treat me like a pack. Just don't worry. Just don't take anything I give you. That's cool. So, now that I've killed a hobo and taken his clothes, we will be wearing them. Uh, they smell a little, a little bit like cheese, a little bit like loss of faith, but uh, not to worry. Can we go through these doors? No, we can't. So, this is the 16th floor. I have a feeling all these rooms are hey. kind of basically the same. Here's a book. Here's, that's where it goes. And, um... Hey. Yeah, so this is the 16th floor, filled with a lot of people who like to say hello, hi, what's up, how are you doing, what's up, hey, how you doing? I don't think these people get care if I hit them in the face either. Nope, don't care. Yep. Yeah, so you can't really get these residents angry at you. See, she thinks her husband just went to sleep. She'll find out later that he was brutally murdered. So, now that we've done the 16th floor, and Mr. Cuddlesworth is contemplating killing this woman, we are going to go downstairs again. 
It would have been nice to have just one main elevator and then just have the selection like in the Lucky 38. But, um, you know, uh, fuck that. So this is the 14th floor. I'm going to open the elevator. That does nothing. 14th floor is where kind of the, um, the lower wage workers work. Well, they don't work there, but they're kind of the stupider lower wage workers. So we can see here we have a lot of people here, mainly because they're very stupid, and we can find a lot of stupid people out in the open. And as you can see, just about the same thing. Two people in a staring contest for the past week. They're going to die soon. Oh, and, and, and somebody just lost. And you know what the penalty is for losing a staring contest. I rip your goddamn head off. So, here's the next contestant. We'll see what happens um, in, a, in a year. We'll be back in a year. So, yeah, these are all about the same. Um, basically, this seems like the same exact floor plan. Um, not really sure. I haven't really looked through this that much, but... um. I'm guessing it's the same thing. And by guessing, I don't I justify not going to the restaurant. So we are going to go to the restaurant. We're going to have some beautiful meals. Look at this widow here having a great time. Her husband just died. Fantastic. Let's go. So, um, starlit fine dinner. I can only imagine there's going to be a huge amount of lights that will totally blind me and crash my game. And I am mistaken. Oh, that's a nice, uh, your, hat, your hat's ripped, Raul. And as we can see... Uh, it was indeed the Colossus um, armor that had crashed our game. Um, kind of a problem, but at the same time, I did have three versions of it running. So, poops on me, poops on you. Look at that. I've got three shoes. So, Hello. look at these fancy ladies with their dirty clothes and their dirty mustaches. You should shave a little bit more, you Cindy whoop bitch. If you need anything repaired, James Agronis is very skilled and quite, exp and quite expensive, I might add. Bye. Bye. So, nice weird ass dress I guess it's it's cool that it's unique I don't know hey. I don't uh, know it stands out so hey. Lynette um, I'm gonna brutally kill all these people who keep saying hello I hope you are enjoying your day fancy menu I'll take 16 beers let's get started so evening. um evening to you Basically, this this whole hotel seems to be just a giant... Um, let me just drink four beers. Um, basically, this is just a giant... Blah, 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 Storage facility. Where I can store shit and shit. So, kind of cool. I like it so far. Hey, look, it's not me at all. Ooh, look at this. This is cool. What are these, nuts? Nuts? No, these are strawberries. Strawberries and cookies. And I can't pick any of them up. Hello? Bullshit. Oh, whoa, oh man, I just want some cookies. Give me a break. You ever saw someone rip out a gun and start blowing cookies? So, apparently I can't pick any of these up because... Um, fuck me, right? Um, I don't understand why the mod author didn't make these available to pick up. Because upstairs in your room, when you get the mod, you can actually... There's perfume that has zero attributes and does absolutely nothing. So, I mean, th this would have been obvious, like, hey, this gives you health. Okay. All right, so let's go, um, let's, I'm gonna check what's over here, compare between kitchen and whatever the hell this is. So, door to ladies and gents, sounds like a great time. We're gonna just, wow, you, you're not even gonna believe it. Um, it's one of the best places you've ever been. I haven't been there yet because I was busy putting sausages in a blender. Hello. So, we got Jenny and Grady, some of the scientist, um, chefs here. We got Bun, Boone, very good, uh, very good coffee maker, let me tell you. Can't pick up these either because, you know, why not? Uh, these toasters are very, very, they're actually glued to the, um... I can take this apple. That's all. But uh, this orange is made out of glass. So moving on, we have the very fancy one spaghetti spaghetti bowl. Uh, would you like to tell us a little about this, Grady? Have you ever heard Agronis repair anything for you? He's expensive, but he's good. Bye. Uh, yeah, I'd like to learn about the one Sparagoon Magoon. 
here. Got some forks. He's smoking in the kitchen. That's real. Hey, hey Chico Ramirez. Everyone here seems pretty nice. I don't think they just let anybody in there. there might be a few a-holes, but unfortunately I haven't met any. Bye. Yeah, well, you're a giant a-hole. We're in a fucking kitchen. Here. There's some fucking corn. <gasps> Watermelons! Oh, if Tuar was here... Have a seizure. Fresh apples. Damn it. Alright, let's see if Jenny has anything to say to us. All the guys at the pool's wearing the same boring blue trunks. Hotel rules out the way. They know the trunks are issued in serenary condition. Time for me to go. Well, you know, uh, that does make sense because usually, um, kind of a trade secret for me and my family. Whenever we go to hotels, like, we, you know, we go to hotels in different places and we usually just wear the, the dirtiest types of bathing suits we can. And sometimes I like to shit my bathing suit and then just go in the pool and just, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's funny. You know, everyone's like, what's that smell? You can also play uh, SpongeBob in this in this mod. You just gotta lose your goddamn spatula in there. So let's go. I'm gonna get um got a few steaks here, some squirrels. Drink a few more beers. Eat four steaks, some more beers, whatever. I'm having a good time. It's a it's a Sunday night. Whatever. I don't care. I'm get drunk. Drink. Eat four steaks. Whatever. So um. Let's head on over to ladies and gents, the best club you've ever seen. This hobo's communicating telepathically to Dr. Stern, but we cannot let that happen. And that hobo has never given up the plans for uh, Germany's secret weapons. So, this is ladies and gents. This is where they keep all the extra light bulbs, just in case there is a, a blackout and you go blind at the same time. So, as you can see, there's two doors. We've got a gents room and we've got a ladies room. Um, I'm going to go in the ladies room. I like to be adventurous. So, as we can see, very, very... This is a bathroom. This is a fucking bathroom. This is the brightest goddamn bathroom in existence. Who shits in here? Giants? Possibly. And for the very special lady in your life, you can sit down and look at yourself. As you all know, I do have the vampire mod on, so the mirror does not work. Like how well it was sitting down. Um, for those of you who do not detect um, subtle hints of sarcasm, uh, there is no vampire mod. So those were um, thought it was a nightclub, just a shithole bathroom. And look at these lights! Wow, these couches, which are not couches, they're chairs. They're actually made out of lights. Let me tell you. So we are gonna keep moving on, keep shuffling the little train that could keep blowing and showing. So I can't wait till we find. This is like the Lucky 38 mod. I know we're going to find a whole basement full of children. Um, because every, you know, where are you going to get your shoes? Basement children. Obviously. Oof. My throat is sore because before I swallowed a bunch of razors. So, what is next, you ask? Well, I say, look at these stairs. Look at them. Where are you on album? So, up here you can see there's a very, look at that. Look at that friggin' band of bands going over there. So, we got this sweet little... Look at this sweet deal right here going on. Um, I do like this. I do like this, though. I do like the black fridge. Hey, Lake. I like your mustache. May I see a menu? <sighs> Hope you're enjoying your day. It's nighttime, asshole. Um, personal space. Not a concept that you grasp very well. So this, this is pretty cool. Um, hey. They're doing the mime. As you can see, he's working out very well. Um, I don't understand why the mod author didn't put any music. Actually, wait, let's see. Because I always turn my music off because I'm a dick face. Oh, I'm going to wait an hour. And all the beer is just going to hurt a lot. Not good, not good at all. So... The uh, audience is restless, they're leaving, they know this band is shit. This man actually is gonna... Is he gonna go up there? No, he is not. But I'm gonna take it out on... Um, that guy, he can obviously... He can just make believe he's not playing. These guys, it's kinda hard. Actually, this man's... This man's arm... is very awkward. But let's look at this drummer. He's probably got the hardest job as I walk through this drum set and shit all over. 
So. And there he goes. With him, he takes the drum set to the next dimension of life. Wake up. Oh, he's still got the beat. He's still got the rhythm in his shoulder. Look at it. So he's got the rhythm. He's still going. And it's times like these that the pizza's in there. But it's also times like these when you just gotta throw a nuclear teddy bomb. So, one for the money, two for the show. Here's the teddy bomb, and I'll go, go, go. Oh, 